Here's a look at Cranford Radio headlines for the week of January 3rd and a look ahead at your weekend. The Cranford Township Committee held their annual reorganization meeting Thursday evening. Kathleen Miller-Prunty and Mary O'Connor were sworn in to begin their three-year terms following election wins in November. Patrick Giblin took the oath to serve another term as mayor. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy swore in Giblin as mayor and Miller-Prunty as deputy mayor. You can hear a short interview with Mayor Giblin as he outlines his 2020 goals on CranfordRadio.com. Cranford mourned the passing of Ann Dolan on December 26th. Dolan served as the facility manager for the Cranford Pool and Fitness Center and died unexpectedly from complications from pneumonia. Friday afternoon at 345, the girls and boys swim teams host Governor Livingston for a match at the Centennial Avenue Pool. At 7 in the CHS gym, the wrestling team will face Rawway. On Saturday, the wrestlers head to Brick to participate in a quad, and at 11.30, the boys basketball team tips off against Rawway in the Martin Gym. On Sunday, the boys and girls track teams participate in a meet in the Jersey City Armory. The National Weather Service says to look for rain Friday and Saturday with highs both days in the upper 40s. On Sunday, it will be mostly sunny but breezy, the high in the low 40s. Calvary Lutheran Church holds its first Sunday for Young Families service at 9.15 Sunday morning. The service includes a story, singing, and Holy Communion. Kids in grades 4 through 6 are invited to the Unquiet Library Monday afternoon between 4 and 5 to do record album art. Pre-registration is not necessary. For more events and details, visit Cranford.com. News provided by Tap into Cranford. For Cranford Radio, I'm Bernie Wagenblast.